What's up, Divas? So, today's video is going to be, of course, a hair video. You guys already know, I got my girl Eve right here. I'm going to be styling her in like a little clip snippet of this video because I really did want you guys to see how I curled the wig because I think she is just so pretty and bouncy. Let me tell you, before I even get started, now, let me tell y'all. First of all, before I even get into that, the hair is beautiful hair but i had to do like my own magic to it it is from miss wiggins or wiggins hair.com okay excuse me wiggins hair.com okay you know they look cute all right so look cute for the video because girl put your hair over just look cute um it is loose wave hair it's brazilian loose wave it was Four bundles, 22, 22, 20, 18, and a 16 inch closure. Um, now let me tell y'all, I don't even need to tell y'all, but y'all know I really do like loose wave hair. I really do like like curly hair too. Not too big curly, but you know, I do like that type of hair texture because why? A girl don't like to do nothing, okay? Like when I say, I, I mean, I like to do stuff. Don't, let me not make myself seem like I'm lazy because I'm far from that. Listen, I have already made the daggone wig and then did enough. There is no way that I'm about to sit up here all the time and want to curl something. Sometimes I just like to wash and throw it on and go out the door. You know, wash it, go and be cute. Hello. But with this loose wave, I'm gonna just tell y'all, y'all will see the snippet. It was very loose. Like, you know how that, that ish be so loose, she'd be like, mm. Well, dang, she is loose, loosey goosey. It was very loose. The bottoms were only the part that was waved up. The top was like, um, it wasn't silky straight, but it wasn't loose, okay? And I really, really wanted it to be loose wavy. Like, I, I've said this before. I have got some loose wavy hair that was just like so loose, honey, you'll be seasick. And that's how I like it to be because I like to wear it just like that. I didn't achieve that with this. Even after hanging it upside down, I didn't achieve that. So this is the reason why I put that those curls in it. Because a girl can't go outside looking like that. Mm -mm. When I got the bundles, um, you know, the hair didn't smell that great. I don't think any of it does. But when I got the bundles, after I finished making the wig, that's when I washed it. And I just had to really brush it out because it seemed like the bottom portion, it just seemed like it had tangled a little bit more than expected. So I did have to really brush it. And enough of the hair did come out. So it did tangle while I was making the wig. Um, and then I had to brush the tangles out. And I did bleach the closure, okay? So I bleached the closure like probably like a couple weeks prior to doing the hair. I'm gonna show you guys real quick the little snippet and then we're gonna get into this. Hey everyone, so this, this is some hair from a company called Wiggins. Yes, I will definitely post all of the information below from where you can get this hair from, but they did send me some of their loose wave bundles. I did get four of them and a closure. This is um, the hair, this is after I washed it and this is just how it curled. So basically it just curls at the end of the hair. It's not through out the entire hair like I would like it the curls are like very very loose like when I say loose like they're not there I'm gonna go ahead and put some curls in the hair so I've already started so this is what I've done so far with my curling wand um which is from irresistible me and it's the smallest one out of the whole collection it's really tiny but you don't have to hold the hair on at all probably for like one second so I'm just gonna take some of the hair Okay, that was two. Actually, curl this is really easy. It's super easy. I'm gonna just take one layer down, not even a whole layer or a roll of hair, you know, but just enough because you don't want too much. Because for one, the wand that I use is the smallest barrel in the actual wanding set. You guys know I love the Irresistible Me wand set. It's eight in one wand, so it's bomb. Like for real, if you don't have one, definitely get you one. So I just take it and you can go over the barrel or underneath you can start, but I would do both ways because it goes a different direction. And when you just turn it around, or you wind it around you just kind of 
like twist the hair around it's just that easy just take it you see how I switched it up I went under the wand this time and you just switch it and you know just go around it so when you're twirling it around when you're twisting it or winding it around the barrel I think I burned myself there okay when you're winding it around the barrel just twist the hair at the same time you kind of like twisting your wrist so that way the hair is twisting at the same time and you don't even have to keep the hair on that long like you don't even have to keep it on at all as soon as you get to the end you can just pull it right off um, because it's gonna be loose but if you keep it on longer the ends are gonna be tighter so you don't want it to be too tight at the ends but I mean that, that's the look you're going for then I mean like you know go for it you know but you see how I'm going I just twirl it around and then I just tw I just kind of like flick my wrist back and forth you know as I'm twirling the hair so I turn twirl turn twirl so I'm like twisting the hair around it so that way it'll come out different because if I don't if you don't twist the hair as you're turning it around it's gonna be like a regular curl it's not gonna have like the twist pattern to it it's just gonna have like a regular curl pattern to it but small curls so when they fall it's just gonna be like curls but when these fall they're like more or less like waves you know what I'm saying but it's super easy I like to do this um, it may take some time it all depends on how much hair you have and how much hair you're using on the barrel you can do this with any size barrel like sometimes I make the curls bigger but for this particular one a girl was trying to achieve like a loose wave and like once I'm done with the actual curling you can just pull the hair like literally pull it and it'll like loosen up the waist instead of like raking through it if you just pull it like pull it downwards the hair will actually like you know get looser as you guys seen the hair was not that curly you know what i'm saying it wasn't like it, it not even curly it just really wasn't that loose so it wasn't like to my expectations if i had to rate it from like a one through ten i would just probably rate it like a seven seven and a half because the, the waves wasn't there or maybe like a seven the quality isn't bad the hair bleached on um, the knots bleached really nice you know what i'm saying like they bleached nice like i didn't overdo it but um i just really wanted it to be like loose wave okay like seriously some loose waves if you curl it like this you don't have to really curl it every day the curls will drop eventually and it'll look something different so you can, you're able to wear the style for a little bit longer and especially if you put some hairspray up in that girl let me tell y'all especially if you put some hairspray up in that bitch you are definitely good to go okay okay now did i tell you guys no i did not a girl got some edges hello <laughs> Now, if y'all guys don't even know, my edges got real thin over here on this side. So I have been working really hard to grow them back. Normally, you guys see me using this. And I just felt like I wanted to try something different that was just a little bit less work. Sometimes I feel like it just doesn't work for me. Or it's just like a buildup of something. Or I just got to keep spraying or something. You know, sometimes it just doesn't work out like that for me. Right. A girl need edges, but she not about to go broke for no edges, okay? So I found it on eBay for cheaper. I was so excited. I bought it. Bought it this week. Could not wait for it to get here. Like, seriously, could not wait for it to get here. I get my package in the mail, and I'm like, what is that? What is this? And then I looked. I was like, so do you mind to tell me? I mean, good thing I, I didn't need. Listen, good thing I'm not freaking bald-headed. Because can you tell me why? I paid like seven dollars and some change for this with shipping and everything. I was like, no, the f they did not. What is this? Okay, first of all, this is something that you find at the beauty supply store that's sitting on the counters for like a dollar or a dollar ninety nine, not for no seven dollars. I know daggone well that even New York is not selling these little bottles for like seven dollars. There's no way. I was so disappointed. Like, oh my god, you are you serious? I said, you know what, April, just make it work for you because if if it works, you can go out and buy the bigger bottle, okay? Maybe you got to spend some more. I don't really know, but I'm going to just go to the, the Hood Beauty Supply Store and find me some. Just some, some thick stuff. Now, mind you, don't use this to slick your whole hair down, meaning if you want some baby hairs and stuff, do that process before you even get to this process if you ain't got no edges, okay? Meaning, do your baby hairs with your regular gel, put your scarf on, let it lay down. Do not use no gel like got to be that's going to flake up and turn white on you. Because if that's what you're going to use, honeys, this is going to be a whole world of a mess. I guarantee you. I haven't tried it, but I don't use got to be like that. So once my hair was slicked, you know, I just took it and dapped it on my finger. And I just like dapped it in very slowly, okay, mindfully like that. So that way, and I put some right here. That way, it's not like a huge, dark clump of buildup with it. I would take the toothbrush 
and I would just, you know, go lightly with it to kind of like even it out. And then I will go back and then I will dab into it. This is how I did it because I just noticed that if you was to try to put it on like you was to put on regular gel, girl, no, that wasn't going to work out for you. It's just this side that like suffers from no edges, okay? From the loss of my edges, they have passed away. A lot of you guys did not come to the funeral, so, you know, I'm not going to hold that against y'all. Is what it is. But yeah, I was like really pissed off. Like, not even pissed off, but I just was like, girl, did you just really pay eight dollars damn near for this? Like combs in. This time around, when I put the combs in, I decided to move them back a little bit further. So that way that they won't be right here by my temples or where my edges are thinning, but more or less to back of my nape. So that way it doesn't bother me. And I also did bleach the closure with a 20 developer um bleach and bleach. Listen, okay, this hair is super full, okay, super full. It doesn't take that much time. You don't really need to know how to style too much. It's super easy, and it makes the hair look like it's really, really expensive, like I'm saying. I like to look expensive with some cheap hair. Hello. Wiggins, you know what I'm saying? They do have some nice hair. It's affordable, like I said. It's affordable. I wish it would have waved up a little bit more, but you know what? If it would have, I probably wouldn't have done anything to it, but just come on and be like, what's up? Okay? So I guess I had to, you know, kind of like work for the look. All right, and I think it's gorgeous. I think it's really pretty for the summertime, spring, whatever. And also, the curls will definitely drop over time, so you really don't have to do much. And it's also very, very bouncy. So, yes, you guys, I love you. Stay diva and divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this hairstyle. And if it was something that you would try, you know what I'm saying? I will see you guys in a soon to come video. Stay diva and divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. And I think I said that already. If I did, and if I did, oh well, so what? But I still love you guys, and I'll see you soon.